Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because I like comedy music, and I happen to know a little bit about it, because it's what I do. Anyway, as if that wasn't repetitively redundant enough, this week we are reacting to A Song Us Among Us. Uh, by uh, the Chalk Eaters, if they an Among Us meme song, so we're going to see a lot of Amogus and a lot of Sussy Bacas and all sorts of other memes that this old fart may not know anything about. Uh, but if this is your first time joining us, hello, welcome. I react to things from the perspective of a comedian and a comedy musician and uh, also the outright nerd and gamer. And uh, so, you know, this kind of stuff is right up my alley. Saying that, I do pause videos quite often so that I can react to them, so that I'm not talking over the uh, the lyrics and missing jokes, stuff like that, so I do pause a lot. Uh, but please, if you do enjoy these videos, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that help feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where uh, patrons get to see these videos early, get to get some exclusive Patreon-only reactions that I'm just going to start doing now, and uh, all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's dive into this. Uh, I will say, uh, there are tons of Among Us memes out there. Uh, I know of a small handful of them. So a couple of these may go over my head. It's just what it is. So, fair warning. Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. We're not doing any more of these nerdy meme songs, are we? Well, let's take a look outside and see how lucky we are to live in a beautiful world like this. Because, you see, <clears throat> any time and any season, there's a rhyme and there's a reason. So... Before we get too far into this, uh, reading the description, uh, I've come to understand that this is Professor Chalk, which is the Chalk Eater's new mascot, uh, voiced by Black Griffin, who uh, does voices for, like, has -Been Hotel and various and sundry other things. Um, and also, the little snaps on his jacket there is the same as the Chalk Eater's logo. So that's neat. D all right, it's just the thing I thought I'd say. All right. We keep spinning on this tiny rock in circles Could have spawned in a much less pleasing place Be squeezed to death in outer space Or frozen in the system of oh, Well, there was the first Amogus. Cool. <clears throat> anyway, humanity is young Some monkeys found a common tongue We built the cities we got overrun by locusts <laughs> Alright, we got one of the ten plagues, and then uh, the Wilhelm Scream. Wilhelm Scream is always good. There's a, a comedy music band who sadly isn't around anymore called Possible Oscar, uh, who have a song called That Calls for Wilhelm Scream. Look that up. It's amazing and hilarious. I love that song. Uh, that Calls for a Wilhelm Scream by Possible Oscar. Check it out. Um, this is, like, it's... Uh, their stuff is very... When I say this stuff is very musical, obviously, yes, it's a song, but when I say musical, I mean it is, like, sounds like it's from a musical, like a Broadway musical. Um, just the way that the the, or the orchestration in it and the, the kind of upbeat tempo to everything, it sounds like it's from a musical. To me, anyway. The common tongue, we built the cities, we got overrun by locusts. It it almost rhymes with locusts, it and it just comes out of nowhere. And uh, I guess that uh, that Egyptian god kind of looks like the Among Us things. So well done, everything that it's always a reference to the game. They're finding the little crewmates or the crew members at various and sundry things all around in the world. Memes, folks. Scans and books and brands and hooks and the McDonald's meals you used to adore. Yeah, once again in a Chalk Eater song, I have called what is about to happen before it happens. This happened with 
uh, It Just Works, where I was talking about a lot of the stuff that went along with the Todd Howard memes and a lot of the things that he said in, in things and a lot of the controversies that have happened with Bethesda games. And as soon as I said that, then they sang about it. So yes, yeah, seeing the Among Us characters in various and sundry everyday items, and then that's the next lyric. Why can't I do this with lottery numbers? Um, it's fine. Everything's fine. Fine. They're camouflaging, they're sabotaging, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, is, is, like, okay, I was waiting to see if the string could assemble on another Among Us character crewmate. Yeah, that's, uh, should've guessed. Also, the little pencil holder there in the bottom corner, that's, that's an Among Us shape as well. Uh, nothing else I can see on there other than the things obviously on the board that are supposed to. That, that photo of a dog with a bad haircut that makes it look like it's in one of the suits. That's... And also that chicken nugget could be pinned to that board for years and it will never deteriorate. McDonald's processed food. Ew. Like, I used to eat it all the time. I, you know, that's why I have a bad liver now. Anyway, moving on from that. <laughs> I love how it suddenly jumped genres uh, after that that moment. That's pretty great. And uh, Among Us Sussos. Uh, yeah, y you know, you think somebody's sus in the game. That's where it evolved into Sussy Baka, and then whatever that one is. That one I'm not familiar with. The, uh, but, you know, sure, whatever. So there's Stupendium as the newscaster. Nice cameo. Uh, Daft Chalk instead of Daft Punk. Nice. Uh, uh, claims to be an imposter. Uh, good stuff. Yes, you know, your fingernail looks like the, the, the face shield mask, the viewfinder thing. The helmet, windscreen, that's the thing I'm... Words are fun. Uh, that was the thing I was trying, trying to say and couldn't get out of my fat head. Um, yeah, your fingernail could be an Among Us thing if it had... Whatever, sure, you can see it everywhere, is the point of the song, and hence... Funny. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, uh, sus could be shorthand for sustain, which is, you know, holding a note very long, uh, and uh, so these chords are looking sus, and you're sustaining the chord. It's very clever. Also, another genre sh shift, genre shift, sorry, my mouth is just not working today, uh, another genre shift in the music we've gone from musical to, to rock to clearly Daft Punk with the full auto-tuned, uh, actually not even auto-tuned, it's more, it's more vocalizer, um, with, you know, the stereo flange and whatnot on the vocals to sound like Daft Punk. So, yeah, there's, we're, we're genre flipping a lot through here. I'm sure there's gonna be like 20 styles in the three-minute song. Yeah, cool. So the A looks like an Among Us. Okay. <laughs> the whole language of Sri Lanka is kind of sussy because all of their letters look like Among Us characters. Y'all will try to find memes and everything, huh? I mean, I guess that's sort of the whole point of the Among Us meme. Is that, yeah, it's it's not really, but you see it. 
and spelling out sus among us a mogusin, mogu mogu us sas us, sas us vent sus mogus, susu us mogi sussy. I don't know what the hell I just, I could have just conjured an elder beast for all I know. I hope I didn't. I have to move out of this house soon anyway, but please no, that's gonna lower the mortgage that someone else buys it. I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm selling my house soon. It's We're moving. It's fine. So much going on. So leave your cozy sleeping bags and hurry up to the back. There's a new talk to welcome our new lord at last time. Oh, we pulled a mask off and that, that happened. Don't know what language that was, so I'm not even going to attempt a translation. But uh, going to choral singing after all of that is another great genre flip. Just just running the gamut through all of them. I did a song, uh, like one of my very first songs. I put out an EP uh, when this version of Insane Ian started doing stuff back in 2008. Uh, it was called Please Buy This EP So I Can Pay For My Wedding and all the profits from the sales of CD helped pay for my wedding. I have since been divorced and remarried, uh, but that's neither here nor there. That was my first EP, and uh, I had three songs on there, three original songs, that did not appear on anything else. Or, actually, technically four original songs. The title song, Please Buy This EP So I Can Pay For My Wedding, and then three songs that have not appeared anywhere else. The shortest song, the second shortest song, and not the shortest song. Shortest song, second shortest song, you can see puppet music videos for here on my channel that my buddy Luke Ski did. Uh, and then not the shortest song is a 10 minute and 45 second song uh, that plays on the idea of the shortest song and goes through several genres of songs in the one song itself. So this is appealing to me in that way. There's a long way to get to that story, I'm sorry. Uh, this is appealing to me in that way because you're, you're going through many different styles, many different music genres in one song. Frank Zappa used to do that kind of stuff all the time. Um, but uh, it's something that I've done myself in another song that ended up being 10 minutes. It's one of the longest songs I've ever written. And at the time, we mostly improvised it while we were recording it. So like, okay, let's do this section now. And then I just barfed up some lyrics and became a thing. Uh, obviously, more care and time went into this. <laughs> sure. Damn, what a nightmare. I've got to write a song about it. <laughs> so Professor Chalk is apparently just a member of the Chalk Eaters, and that's what's happened. It's been a nightmare about Among Us, and then here's a song now. Honestly, that happens to most comedy musicians. That happens to most musicians. So, yeah. Mm, wrong button. <laughs> Uploading to YouTube. <laughs> Everything, the car even, the, the trash bins, the recycling bins, the mailboxes, houses themselves, parts of the houses, you're just gonna see it everywhere, and it's gonna drive you mad. This this song is great. It's a bop. Uh, the genre flips throughout the different styles are amazing. The video really helps sell it the most, though. Uh, I, I think I think a lot of the strength of this lies in the music video. Uh, there's a lot of great lyrics and uh, a lot of good jokes within that about seeing Among Us in things but the video really, really helps elevate that a lot more, which is important in a comedy music video, which is something I've said on this channel numerous times. You want the video to help elevate the song uh, and help raise the idea of the jokes rather than pull away from the jokes of the lyrics or detract in some way and be over-distracting. You want to be able to enjoy the song and the video in tandem together and have uh, the ideas complement one another. <laughs> you're, you're... So we've gone to like 
thrash metal, uh, well, more new metal, uh, kind of along the lines of Disturbed and, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, basically, screamo metal type stuff. It's good. Just another good genre flip. Fantastic. Driven and mad. That's... Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel Brown or Black Griffin and I play Professor Chalk in the masterpiece you've just watched. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment and do all the lovely algorithm things to help the channel out. <laughs> Gee, that sounds familiar. <laughs> yes, it's the same call to action we always have. Uh, I like the moment where he accidentally knocked over his pop filter on his mic. I don't know what that's like at all. Uh, yes. Go subscribe to the Chalk Eaters, and of course, if you want to check out this video without me blabbering all over it, it is in the link in the description below. Let's get this to the end here. <laughs> or don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure nothing terrible will happen if you don't. Yeah, about that. Anyway, hopefully it won't. Uh, yeah, so that was fantastic. Again, uh, one of those things that was really kind of amplified by the music video itself kind of helps elevate a lot of the jokes in the, in the stuff that we're hearing and seeing. Uh, so yeah, really, really dug that. Hopefully you did too. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things you do to help feed the algorithm, as Black Griffin said. Uh, only do it on my video too, because that'd be nice. Uh, also, if you really want to help the channel out, consider joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you can get these videos early, get to see exclusive Patreon-only reactions. Uh, I am a comedy musician, but I'm going to be reacting to some non-comedy songs that I've been asked to. Uh, a lot of people really want to see me react to some stupendium songs that are not comedy. Those will be exclusive to Patreon, because this show is all about comedy music, and if I react to a non-comedy song in that, it kind of pulls away from the focus of the show. So, those will be a Patreon exclusive. Also, I'm probably going to try to do some other exclusive Patreon reactions to kind of help, you know, incentivize people to check those out, stuff like maybe Bo Burnham's uh, Inside or things of that nature. Uh, of course, also, my music will be available on Patreon as well, so you get to get that early before anybody else. All sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, all of that out of the way. Thanks for joining me this week. We'll see you next time. Bye. I wanted to stay on board of this cruise ship. Oh well, guess beggars can't be choosy. Wanted to receive attention from my duties. Wanted to be left alone. Don't execute me for doing my job and yours too. Out here in deep space, seeing just a corpse crew. It really doesn't faze me. What did you see? It's not confusing. I'm just trying to do keys. Then Blue Heat accused me. Excuse me.